This is a quick video just to show a DAC board setup that I have in my kitchen. I use the um, AWOL mini desktop computer, which I actually have tucked behind here, tucked in behind here. Um, I've got the wires running up and it goes to this touchscreen monitor. I don't remember the brand on it. I've had it for a couple of years, so I can maybe find it, put it in the description. Um, but the way I have the setup, so I have two different DAC board tabs. And technically DAC board isn't touchscreen friendly at all, but I kind of found a workaround to have more than one board. Usually, I think you have to pay like 15 bucks a month um, for a high-end plan to be able to have, um, have it cycle through different DAC boards at a different time cycle, but I want to be able to do it when I want and not have to wait for it, for it to cycle through. So if you open up two tabs, get the camera set up here, drag one out. You can go full screen. Oops, not in private. You can go full screen. And now you have one DAC board. If you drag in from the edge, choose your other one. You can go to the dot, dot, dot and full screen on that one. And now you can have two DAC board screens. Uh, and quickly go between them by swiping in from the side and choosing the other one. So for now, I took off my usual photos and, and made a, a scenery album that wouldn't have people in it. And I made fake events, but it's pretty touchscreen friendly. Uh, you could have, I think I only have set to seven days out now by default, but you can do more. It's gonna do weather, time. If you switch to the monthly one, I didn't go too far out making test events, but you can have, you know, October, November, you can have three months out. I think you can do even more than three, but that's as far as we would ever care about. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, as far as the computer goes, I went with Windows because it has this functionality. I don't think Chrome OS would do this. Otherwise, I could have just plopped a Chromebook here and plugged it in. Any of the uh, ones that'll fold fold in reverse to be used as like a tablet. So basically all I wanted was the cheapest Windows desktop I could find, which this guy here has like a Celeron processor in it. Um, I'd say the only downside on it is that it does have a fan and moving around through Windows and dragging things like I just was does have it turned on now. So let me put the camera close and stop talking for a second and you can hear it. It really isn't very loud, but it's just worth mentioning. And it's also not on all the time. It really seems to only be, I've had this set up for a week now. It seems to do it when it's like 85 degrees out um, or when you do a lot with it. If you start cycling through windows, it seems to get the processor heated up so it turns on. So that's the DAC board setup I have. It's working good so far. Um, let me know if you have any other ideas of ways to make it cooler uh, in the comments. Thanks for watching.